Morning, 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 what a gorgeous day. Quite the ribbon up my town. See inside. Good morning. We're going off to the car boot today. See what little treasures we can find. Uh, anyone that's watched my car boot treasure hunts will know that I buy some little trinkets, some little treasures, and I'll then put them on eBay. I haven't actually, I haven't put anything up that I've actually sold. So I'm going to do first of all a little roundup of what I've sold over the last few months and it basically covers some of the things that I've bought at the car boot. I bought some McPhail's uh, whiskey flagons which were made by Bucking Pottery in, I think it's Portobello, and they cost me five pounds each. I bought three of them but I managed to sell one which was a double handle jug and I sold that for 26 pounds. One of the earliest things I bought was a little mouth harp. It was a, I would say Victorian cast iron mouth harp and I sold that, I bought that for £2 and I sold it for £6. Another thing that I bought when I bought the mouth harp was a little number one iron, it was a, again a cast iron iron, cast iron iron, a cast iron iron and I bought that, I think that was £2 as well and I sold that for £13. And when I'm out bottle digging, I have, I've got some doublers that I usually sell, things that, you know, I hope that other people will appreciate as well. I did find some little iridescent poison bottles, and they were only about two and a half inches, three inches, with poison written on them. I'll show you a little picture. I sold two of them over the last month or two for about £9.50. I think one sold for £10. So that was quite good. Someone else bought them. Someone else appreciated them. One of the best sales that I've had is the cigarette cards. They were, I think they were from about the 1950s. And these were Native American Indian cigarette cards. And I had a set of 50 that were framed. I bought them for £30 and I sold them for 170 At least we've had fun and made a little profit. That's the whole idea of this. Go out, see what we can purchase, see if we can make a little profit and just show what you can do in a kind of part-time basis. I do it for a bit of fun. I don't make a lot of profit, but at least we, we have some fun. Make some nice videos for you guys, hopefully, and expand our knowledge on these little treasures we find at the car boot. We're going to go now into the car boot again, see what else we can find. Hopefully we'll get something nice. I've got a couple of things that people have asked me to look for. One of them is a little cowboy hat that was at the car boot for a gentleman in Canada. So we'll have a wee look for that and some other little items. So any of you that haven't actually seen my car boot treasure hunt videos, I'll leave a link down below. If you like this sort of thing, let me know, give me a thumbs up, and we'll go now, see what we can find. See if we get any more little treasures. What did you read, Jack? What would you like to pay? What would you like to pay? Two quid. Three. Two quid. Two fifty. Two fifty will do. I'll leave it on my friend's table and he can sell it for me. I'm only wanting eight quid for it. Where did that come from? I've just bought it. <laughs> just to add to your... your 
I have this one. My tea pants. What's in the box? Take five on the whole box. The whole box. I want a wee construction person. So I can kill him. Right. And a wee Indian. Okay. I know. It only means something to me. That's fine. No worries. What's that? Is that then? Tuning pipe. Much is that? Johnny? Six quid. Johnny? Yeah, is that the bucket of dish, yeah? Seven. Johnny's double dish, yeah? Yeah. Bucket of dish. That's some bucket of dish, too. Much is that? That's only. Well, there, I'll take eight or ten. I'll take eight. On oh, this? Yes, on the pair. Yeah. And for the this whole. Is the dish, what, what might for all? For the whole yeah. lot. For the whole lot. The dish, there oh, isn't eight. that. It was 16 for the whole lot. There you go. That's for nothing. Mm -hmm. It's cheap. What do we think? Well, nice. Not bad. Yeah. 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 Just a first glance, just a quick glance, so it means, isn't it? Looks quite new. Good morning, sir. Good morning, brother. How are you? I'm here. Is that quite new, that cream leg? Eh? Is that a reaper? What, the angel? No, the cream leg. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, looked it. Three pounds. Oh, that's not bad for a wee reaper. How much are the new guys? They're ten pounds a pair, any pair you want. What's the size of this? Oh, I don't know what the size is, I couldn't tell you. Ugly wear. Eh? Ugly wear, that's what I call that. It's nice. It's nice. But it's ugly. Yeah, that's ugly. Yeah, that's 
one to wear that. It's, it's a nice uh, watercolour. Oh, is that the tower in the square in Bruges? Bruges, yes. That, that was there at the antique shop. I got out of the antique shop. That's the film where eh? in Bruges with that Irish I actor. bought a German a German book off the boy and I bought that. I, I paid 40 euros for it. What little goodies are we in here? Got a lot. Part of your set. What is your wee confederate? 75. I'm not confederate, it's a union. Oh, so they have a union. Don't know my confederates from a union. Yeah. That's great, thank you very much, thank you. Why are you going to check one? Oh! <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Stick him up. <laughs> you sell it? No, it's not a gun, it's actually a wee, it's a wee clamp actually. Oh, it's one of those wee... Uh, ah. Try to trick me. If it had been a nice sweet gun, that would have been lost by a wee bit of a few bob. Right? Would have been, uh... It's in here. It would have been. How much is he? A pound for that one. Uh, 
Eh, pain for that. Come on, I'm Unusual paper way, eh? I know, yeah. It's quite nice. What is that? Pound for that? I'll take that for a pound. Interesting. Nice. Mm -hmm. It'll never work. Really. And if it does, it'll, uh, be it'll be a miracle if it does. I think it's done. <laughs> it's not meant to be working. It's not going to film, yeah. it's not going to break in. Anyway. No. <laughs> See if I can find the print in my stingy pocket. <laughs> That's great, thank you very much. Cheers, thanks. Mm -hmm. Hope you like it. Amazing how it survived. Mm -hmm. Such fine time. Don't drop it. <laughs> There's one wee neck. Mm. Oh there. well. Nothing is perfect. It's nice though. Yeah. Nothing is perfect nice on this other side. Nothing at all. Oh, I don't know. Are you perfect? I do, I did a wee job here. Right? Yeah. Specially made for the Millennium though. Yeah. How are you today? Oh, I'm fine, just always looking for her. Few you know. It's just a passion, so it's like a bug. <laughs> Once you get the bug, that's it. Yeah. Oh, that is nice. Uh, I've never seen one like that. Uh, it's very unusual. Very fragile. It is. What's that one? Yeah, uh, I do it for a tenner. Right. Uh, it's a nice one. Right, I'll take my bottle, we half time coffee, as usual, then head back down, see what we can find. And we'll go and see if uh, my friend sold that wee jug for me. See if we made a wee bit of profit. Might we'll have the coffee. Might have paid for the coffee at least. Did we not sell my wee jug? No. I think I've got it too high. A hundred. A hundred? A hundred pence. <laughs> oh well. I'll oh, just need to go on eBay. Okay, want some? Yeah, give me some. Okay, you've What's happening? Yeah, I think I've seen that. In the 60s, I think. Three, you said? Aye, three pounds. Yeah. I think I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take that. Three, six. Not bad. Big much up today. Not too bad, huh? Not too bad. Very short. Might be that. Look at your 50p. Sorry? Look at your 50p. Having 50p, yeah. Can't even you know, have anything. Yeah, well, that was quite a good car boot. We managed to get some really nice stuff. I'm doing a wee round up here at the car boot for you, so as you can see what we've purchased and what I expect maybe should sell, hopefully. So, possibly didn't see this wee pewter measuring jug. Probably Victorian. 
and it just says on it just uh, thimble food unusual little thing and we got this light bulb, resin light bulb quite quirky what a I think this is an ink jug, lovely colour, really nice colour, so that was a good buy, I paid 50p, pound for that, 150 for that one, and I bought this, Arthur Wood Elephant Piggy Bank, and I paid £3 for that. Lovely crazing all over it. You see there, Arthur Wood. Very nice. And early on, I got this job. I think I paid three pounds for that. Could be wrong. That was nice. And I bought this to commemorate the Millennium Dome. Specially made for the Millennium Dome by James Sadler. And I've borrowed my friend's iron board to display it on. I don't think that's been a bad wee batch today. But alright. It focuses. Perfect. Remember if there's anything you see you like, you can always go to my eBay page, I'll leave a link below and you can go and have a look and see what else I've got on. I've not got much on eBay at the moment but I will be putting these items up this week and you can have a wee look to see what they go for. As I did at the beginning of the video I'll probably come back and show you what we've sold and how much we've got hopefully and hopefully you'll come back and join us again at the car boot. A friend just shouting in the Remember and subscribe if you want to see more of these treasure hunt videos. We had a good day today, we bought some nice things and I'll update you if we sell them or keep them. So remember and subscribe over here, give me a thumbs up, a like and I'll see you again. Have a nice Sunday. Bye for now. That was an interesting day, I had a great time and hopefully you did too. I'm going to head home, get changed. And then I'm going to go metal detecting the treasure hunt. Glad you came along. Hopefully you enjoyed it.